What's going on everybody, it's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna continue talking about GameStop and AMC. We finally got some upward momentum after two pretty much hard down days, especially Tuesday. It took a, Everybody took a bath, it was a beating. I'm glad to see that everybody kind of hung on strong. I stayed strong in my position after being down probably just over 50%. Um, but like I said, we've got some upward momentum. It looked like AMC has also broken through that resistance today, intraday that it was kind of showing, which is awesome news. We're going to go over a little bit of more news of that has uncovered recently over the past 24 hours about these stocks. And we're also going to talk about the ever looming short interest that I see all over the internet. Okay. I see numbers everywhere from, you know, GameStop is at 30% short interest down from 121. It was last reported all the way up to 226. Okay. Okay, we're going to talk about where these values and numbers are actually coming from and what you can do to do your own due diligence to pay attention to find an accurate number. All right, so stick around. You're not going to want to miss this. Let's get into it. First off, this was pulled as a screenshot from Reddit from an, a user that had stated that they pulled this from eToro last updated. Okay, pay attention to this, guys. February 3rd and the short interest was 226, which is insane because that means that two shares, there are two shares short for every one share available, which is absolutely nuts. We knew that that the number was about 120 to 140 when the whole this whole movement began and now it looks like it's going up however guys you might be asking yourself, where do I find that or where do I find truth in this? Because like I just said, you see numbers as low as 38 S3 partners are reporting low as 38, 40%. Let me, let's talk about that a little bit. Okay. Finrush says, as shows right here, requires firms to report short interest positions in all customer proprietary accounts in, in, all equity securities twice a month. If so, if you look, the last time it was it was called was the January 15th, and the last time it was reported was the January 27th. That's why you keep on seeing these dates talked about on the internet as well as Market Watch. I'm gonna go over the short squeeze squeeze.com website that I use. Okay, that's where you see that 115 and 127 mark. These the new numbers are not gonna come out until somewhere around February 9th, guys. Okay, so I'm not saying that all of the numbers that you're seeing are wrong, okay? Because they very well could be right. However, these platforms use an algorithm to be able to pull data from all different um, you know, prospects that they can to be able to formulate a value to show you. That's where you're seeing that 226% interest. Let me you know, give that to something that's relatable to you guys. When a company is set to report earnings, there are analysts that come out and say, EPS is gonna be this and revenue is gonna be this. And when the earnings actually come out, those numbers always vary because they don't have that data yet. They're using all different forms of public knowledge and values and, and an algorithm to be able to come up with that number. That's why you see that number floating from 38% to 226% and everywhere in between. That's why when you go to certain other you know, sites, I believe it's this one right here that I've used before, the short interest has stayed the same because it hasn't been updated yet from FINRA, which means the company hasn't reported themselves. We know that is the most accurate data when the company actually reports and says, no, no, this is how many we have shorted, okay? Because all these other, you know, uh, platforms might be able to, you know, formulate what their percentages are and, and, and values and, and, you know, algorithms and quantitative data and so forth, but getting that actual number is not going to be released yet. This is another one that I use, guys, short squeeze, okay? It shows down here right now. Um, it shows up, up up here. I'm sorry, guys. It shows up here Wednesday, February 3rd is when it was reported. However, if you look at this record date, January B, I said this in my last video, go down to data updates. It shows January B of the 27th, which means the 15th or the 27th, those numbers coincide. And right here you have the 9th. Okay. Um, so pay attention to that. Look for that. We're going to see where it goes. One thing that you will be able to tell that is updated daily. And this is from fintel.io, which is a wonderful tool that I love using is the short volume. This is for AMC. It is showing tremendously that the short volume is trending upwards. We had a spike on the 29th. We, it, it was severely decreased, which is probably with some of the shorts recovered, which is why you saw a drop in the, uh, in, in the price and it's continuing to go back up. If you look at GameStop, it's a little bit different because their pop happened a, a, few, a little bit earlier. However, look at this difference, guys. 6.9 million up to 16.3 million absolutely huge. This is reported every single day. This is short volume. You will scroll up and you will see the short volume ratio as of difference, which is the ratio between of market volume. However, that is different than short interest. Okay. So be aware it's February 3rd right now. Be aware for that February 9th 
date of for them to really you know the companies really to report the shortages to find out exactly where they're standing at okay i this was reported guys i'm not the first one to report it i'm not going to say i even am blackrock has increased their position to 6.2 million shares and up from 3.9 it's a 59 percent increase which is awesome there are some good things going besides the possible short squeeze for amc one with the vaccine rolling around with the, the company just you know selling off all their or, selling off all their debt, not talking about bankruptcy. The people are getting itchy. They want to go out. That's good. Obviously, I'm in this for the short squeeze to be able to push this, ride this up, and the movement because I'm absolutely sick of the hedge funds continuing to basically take advantage of all, all the, the little people by doing their you know their short ladder tax, their insider trading, uh, and, and all their, their kind of sleazy moves. So let's take a look at the charts, guys. This is the five-day chart as of, let's look, scroll this over to the one-day um okay let me refresh this sorry guys let's refresh this right here up 14 percent on gamestop which is good it's trending pretty well i don't know why this chart is moving let's go over to amc because it really seems to mirror himself we're seeing an uptrend of you know, continuing to go up. We saw a little resistance and a spike. I would expect to see this to continuing to rising. I'm hoping we can close over 10 today. It's not going to be impossible to close over 11. We know that all of the the 129 calls, they had two days to be able to close their positions, which means they have to buy today at any point today before the auto buying kicks in, okay? I also do want to affirm that I've talked about my other video. If you haven't seen it, go check out my last two videos about the $2 million in the four option contracts for $20 calls set to expire on AMC on February 12th are all still active. Those positions have not been closed out, which is absolutely huge. I also want to highlight here, guys, that S3... I can't highlight this because you're not going to be able to see it, but S3 Partners had released this saying, if long shareholders see the tumbling stock as a new buying opportunity, we may be at the start of part two of the GME short squeeze, okay? I looked again today. It shows that Robinhood is still limiting to 100 shares of GameStop, 1250 of AMC. I've heard other reports of you know Cash App not letting people buy or buy Stake not letting people buy Revolut not letting people buy and so forth, guys. If you have not gone over to a high quality professional huge brokerage such as Merrill Lynch, Fidelity, I highly suggest you. I know they have restrictions. I believe all of them have at least some part of part of restrictions, whether it's margin restrictions. I know Merrill Lynch that you know has 100% margin uh, re requirements and so forth, but they let you buy whatever you want. Okay, I've I've done it today. I've other people have added their positions. They, they've confirmed that it's actually you know they're able to do that. So if you haven't done that yet, guys, definitely consider getting over to it. Remember, guys, this is going to still be a bit of a long shot. Okay, this squeeze is not guaranteed to happen. I believe it's going to happen. I believe we're going to see some good uptrend. I can still see that $20 price target for AMC. Before that, we know that GME and AMC, the trends have followed. We've gone over the charts before. They follow exactly to each other. Stay strong to your position. Feel confident. Begin to pull out you know, and, and analyze data and take everything with a grain of salt and never invest anything more than you feel comfortable to, guys. Leave a comment down below, guys. Let me know your thoughts on what is going to be happening with the stock. Let me know your thoughts on where you think this is going and how many shares if you're holding, if you're adding the position. And give this video a thumbs up. Get this out to as many people as possible so we can all continue to you know, add on to this rally. I consider, continue to see the Reddit Wall Street Bets groups or group grow. It was at 7 million just the other day. Now it's at 8.4 million. So this continues to be widespread. I see pictures of you know billboards all over the interstates of all all of the interstates, highways, in all you know multiple different states, which is pretty cool of the movement. I don't know if that's just a little Photoshop, you know, uh, a drop, but some of them look pretty real. I know, I know, there's uh, some uh, debates uh, about what's going on, but guys, that's it for this video. Leave a thumbs up, appreciate it. Consider subscribing to join the family, and I'll see you in the next one.